Hello. My name is Greg Lundgren, and I am an artist and curator and founder of the new Museum of Museums. Uh, this is what I believe in, so I wanted to get, make sure I said that first. Uh, Museum of Museums is located on First Hill in a mid-century medical building that we are currently converting into an art space. Um, it's owned by Swedish Hospital, and I've rented it, or leased it, since May of this year. Um, I've lived in Seattle for 25 years, and there's a lot of reasons why I live in Seattle, but the main reason is because I've always felt that Seattle has the capacity to be and create a renaissance. Um, I think that it's a bold statement to, stay, to say, um, but I do believe that there are very few cities in the world that have the creativity and the talent and the resource and the community and the wealth and the technology to do it. Uh, it is a bold thing to say, and it makes me nervous saying it, but I've spent a lot of time trying to convince people that that is actually true. Um, the way that I do that is by creating art space. Um, my first uh, art space was in Belltown in 1997. It was an old uh, uh, Vietnamese restaurant on 2nd Lenora. And um, it was the first time that I've ever had a storefront. And uh, the first show that we did there was called Five Artists, Four Murders, Three Dominatrix, Two Clowns, and One Bartender. And um, it was a really fun night. And uh, the, the point of it, though, was uh, to be this countdown of a new era of contemporary art in Seattle, one that was immersive and interactive and performative and playful and challenging and fun. Uh, that gallery was torn down and turned into a Starbucks. Um, my second space was in South Lake Union. It was this brilliant uh, car showroom that was built for the, World's Fair, for the Seattle World's Fair. And um, it was on the corner of Westlake and Denny. And the first show that we had there was called The Dogs of Medina. And uh, we drove to Bellevue with cameras and scoured the streets of Medina and took photographs of rich people's dogs <laughs> and their dog tags. And we handed out those photographs to artists and asked them to paint portraits of rich people's dogs. And then we sent those rich people's dogs owners invitations in this attempt to create a uh, patron class for uh, <laughs> regional artists. That gallery was torn down and became Whole Foods. Um, but I still try and I still create art space both real and imagined. Um, I produced Out of Sight, which was an exhibition that ran tandem to the Seattle Art Fair for three years. Um, I created a model for uh, the Lusty Lady building called Walden Three and more recently created a outline for um, uh, how Seattle could invest in regional arts with the price tag of $1 billion called one half of a football team. Um, I, I do these things because I believe that Seattle is a very good city, but that it has a capacity to be a great city. And I do not see a version of a great city with a declining artist population. I think, I think if we are going to be a great city, that we have to be growing our artist population, that we have to create opportunities, we have to create energy, and give reason for people to be here and create work. I want artists to flock to Seattle the way that gold miners and loggers and fishermen flocked to Seattle in the 1800s. I want artists to quit their day jobs. I want artists to tell me about their European vacations. I want artists to invite me on their boats. I want artists to bring a decent bottle of wine. I really want artists to be rich. The Museum of Museums has a lot of moving parts to it. It's the hardest thing that I've ever done. It has two main galleries. It has rotating private, uh, private collections. It has space for children's art. It has space for video art. It has sculpture and installations and pop-ups and art classes and a really, really unique 
gift shop. Um, but our mission, our mission is something maybe a little bit different than other museums, and that is, is that I think we have the capacity, or at least I want to try, to take all these ingredients that we have, take our creativity, take our talent, take our community, take our wealth, take our technology, and remix these ingredients and find a way to make the city that I think that we're capable of being. Our goal is to convince you that we are capable of a renaissance. So I hope you can join us in February. Thanks for your time. <laughs>